Center is coming up. Are you guys excited? Fuck yeah. Uh, your next animator, uh, his name is Marty Cooper. Give Marty a hand. Uh, Marty animates on Free Birds and Angry Birds. So, if... It, all birds. He's a... He's a bird animator. I expect your, your whole set is just like the Angry Birds doing whatever fucked up jokes Mike's about to tell. <laughs> Um, so if you wasted hundreds of hours of your life, that guy is to blame. <laughs> Marty Cooper, uh, your next comic coming up to the stage. Yes! There it is! Reference. Um, your next comic coming up to the stage. He's been on uh, At Midnight. He's visiting us from New York City. You guys are in for a real treat because he's fucking amazing. Give it up for Mike Lawrence, everybody. Mike Lawrence! It's so weird that I'm performing on this show when I look like the default sketch of what an animator should be. <laughs> my grandpa worked on Hanna-Barbera. My pa worked at Filmation. And <laughs> I do sketches of girls at the Starbucks and then they look weird at me when they realize I'm drawing their titties. Uh, that's about where I am. Oh, man. Holy shit. Take a look at me now. There's just an empty space. That is me. Oh. Holy shit. I can't see my dick either. That is... Holy... Oh, fucking... That looks like Captain Caveman if he gentrified a neighborhood and opened up a cupcake store. That is so sad. Holy fuck. How do I go on now? <laughs> I just want to bring the three women I've had sex with and have them look at that and just go, Gotcha! <laughs> oh, oof. <laughs> so despite, despite this, guys... That's one of them, by the way. That's one of my exes. That's Patricia. Uh, she works at the movie theater. She'll butter the popcorn for you. It's real nice. What the hell? That really looks like what Nazis think Jews look like. That's... There's that fucking bitch writing in her diary. Open Papa finds it and publishes it posthumously. <laughs> That's Jennifer Lawrence without the makeup. That's. Oh. I love somewhere you're like, uh... oh man. So uh, believe it or not, guys, I got engaged. Someone's gonna marry that. <laughs> and. It deserves more of a reaction than that, okay? When an ugly person says they got engaged, there should be a parade. People should be throwing midgets up in the air who high-five each other. And everyone here should be quoting the final speech from Rocky IV. If he could change, then anyone can change. Or at the very least, what should be happening is the most attractive person in the room comes up here, cradles me, and says, That'll do, pig. That'll do. There you go. Yeah, it's John Goodman. Uh, <laughs> um, the thing, this is how I know that I'm creepy besides everything else and that I fit into a comic book shirt. And by fit into it, you can kind of see my tummy sticking out. Uh, <laughs> Whenever I introduce people to my fiance, no one ever goes, oh, where did you meet her? They always just go, so where did you find her? <laughs> like, what are you supposed to say to that? She was in a van with her sisters, and I picked the youngest one. <laughs> yeah. Like the movie Crash. Uh, <laughs> She was tied to a radiator in my basement. And when she broke free, I realized she had a pure spirit and could be molded into something that I could love. Yeah, I've gotten better over the past five minutes. It's, now I look like the moon from the McDonald's. Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck 
you. You fucking animator. Suck my dick at 30 frames per second. Oh, come on. You drew me like a bird. I am a flightless bird. I... That's just me going on one of my chicken runs, you know? <laughs> Holy shit, I... Oh God, that is like... That is a kid's cartoon for third world children right there. <laughs> oh man, that is... <laughs> that is why is he so big bird, that... <laughs> and I look like I'm just gonna eat these people, like... I'm some giant cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> Fee fi fo fum. I I am not good at the sex. You, you don't want to imagine that fucking right. Uh, this is what I could say about myself in bed. I am the Jamaican bobsled team of sex. You know I'm not gonna finish, but you're just inspired by the fact that I showed up. And. <laughs> Did someone just yell at the reference? Cool runnings, thank you, Dickopedia. Thank you. Yeah. The DB and IMDB stands for douchebag. Uh, just so you guys all know, here is the frame of reference that the comedic man is providing. Hold up the bobsled that is your reference and carry it so that people can slow clap and feel good about themselves. Ah! Oh. I love it because it looks like I'm vomiting my beard out. Oh man! That's Matt Groening the night he thought of The Simpsons. <laughs> Why I oughta? <laughs> Oof. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the schlubbiest of them all? <laughs> I just, I just hope that when I die, in the one newspaper that writes about it, that is the file photo. <laughs> That should be on my gravestone. <laughs> Here lies Mike Lawrence. What took you so long? <laughs> I um, <laughs> but I do want to please my woman. I do, and I, I don't know how. I didn't listen to enough boys to men growing up. <laughs> That's one direction with black people. <laughs> and then he just draws one direction, but with black fans. <laughs> He's like, I'd prefer to draw uncomfortable versions of you trying to get out of bed. Uh, <laughs> every picture of me so far has looked like the opposite of a Folgers commercial. <laughs> the best part of staying in <laughs> is looking ice cream from your beard. <laughs> I, uh, uh, <laughs> By the way, you could take all of these drawings that he's had and just call it keyboardist, a retrospective. <laughs> Every person. Oh, look at that hair. I like that's nice. I got the Superman spit curl. Uh, so I will, I will, I will leave you guys with this. Um, so I do want to please my woman, and I don't, I don't know how. So I looked up this thing online called the sexual bucket list. The 50 most important sexual things that every woman wants before she dies. What do you think the most important thing is sexually? She's like, you not talking to me. Right now. What? Uh, ju jumping. Jumping. Jumping? Oh, yeah. What, do, you, do you fuck the Van Halen songs? <laughs> yeah. Jumping Jack off, oh yeah! This Christmas, Adam Sandler is uh, <laughs> jumping. I feel so bad for your bed. <laughs> Do you guys just have pillow fights? They're like we only come to Criterion Collections. Uh, <laughs> 
Oh, there's Fatty McFat Fat again. There he goes. It's McRib season, so he's happy. <laughs> But yeah, so the sexual bucket list. This is this is the uh, this is number one on this list. Number one on the sexual bucket list: masturbate. That's number one. Someone wrote that on a list in case they forget to do it. <laughs> Has anyone ever forgotten to masturbate? I've forgotten to shower because I remember to masturbate. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's Bette Midler, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Woman of stage and screen, Bette Midler. Uh, I am breaking the wind beneath her wings. Uh, <laughs> number two, number two on the list, use a vibrator separate from masturbates. First we get our hands dirty and use a little moxie, then we let the machines take over. <laughs> number three on the list, watch porn alone. Three things into a sex list and a T is not in a P yet. <laughs> I feel like whoever wrote this list owns nine cats and they're all named after Game of Thrones characters. <laughs> no, Stannis, that's Joffrey's milk. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't look like me as young Wilford Brimley, so I'll take it. <laughs> um, the, the best thing on this list, though, this is my favorite thing. With your partner, play strip poker slash strip monopoly. <laughs> Has anyone here ever played Strip Monopoly? No, because you'd still be doing it. Could you imagine the blue balls that you would give someone if you played Strip Monopoly? You're five and a half hours in. There is one sock off. The only chest that's been touched is community. <laughs> and that dude is just sitting there, I fucking the hell out of that thimble because it's the only other thing in the room with holes in it. And he's like, come on, Pamela, let's do it on one of these hotels on Vermont Avenue. The dog in the race car can watch. <laughs> You know you guys were really into this joke and then kind of gave up on it? That's what it's like playing Monopoly. <laughs> oh my God. Good up for that.